My name is Cynthia Panga. I am a communication and brand specialist in Uganda and I'm the immediate past president of the Public Relations Association of Uganda. I do a lot of mentoring and public speaking and I'm so excited to talk about the COVID situation in Uganda. Since then, I mean, a lot of things have changed. Uh, we went under curfew, uh, which starts at 6 a.m. and ends at 7 p.m. Um, there were entry, you know, entry points were all closed down. Um, we we had a total lockdown actually at some point for over like um, 30 days. Businesses have been impacted, uh, employees, people have lost jobs. Uh, there's really, um, the situation is really dire to say the least. I came together with a couple of my friends and what we did is we uh, raised, fundraised about $1,500 and we went to a home for disadvantaged children in a, one of the biggest slums in Uganda called Chisenyi and we donated an assortment of items that um, would help them during the COVID lockdown. So they were very, very grateful, uh, you know, and we really managed to impact them in a, in a very positive way because they were really, really down and didn't have financials and their funders were not coming through because of the COVID situation. So we are supposed to wear our face masks um, in our cars as well as while in public. Um, it's a requirement for everyone to wear their face masks. Uh, so, and uh, all all the different public places have SOPs, uh, standard operating procedures that they have to follow to make sure that uh, there's safety for all their clients. Right now, we are going into the biggest shopping malls we have in Uganda. Uh, that is Game and Shoprite. So we are entering into this space. Okay, so I just bought uh, some 25 kilograms of sugar, 25 kilograms of rice, and some cooking oil, and just little toiletries that we are going to hand over. It's afternoon. Uh, we have to hurry because we don't want curfew to find us before we get back indoors. This is my home. <laughs> I live in Bukasamuyenga, one of the suburbs. Uh, it's just a few less than 10 kilometers uh, from the city center. Rush hour traffic in Kampala. This is Mupwano Road, and um, the cars are bumper to bumper. Curfew, 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 curfew. Everybody's just thinking of getting out of the city because what happens? Police will uh, arrest you, and then you sleep overnight at a police station and uh, that's what happens so nobody wants to be caught in such a situation today i'm going to visit a cousin of mine i've not seen him in 10 years um i know he's not employed and he has a family uh but we reconnected because of the covid situation he just reached out and uh, you know so i did some shopping and we are going to carry the things away and go visit him and see how he's doing and just really be each other's keepers during this very difficult time and you know that that humanity that sense of you know community coming back uh, as a result of the isolation and the difficult period we are in okay so i'm here with my cousin Yunus, Seviara and the wife we haven't seen them in a while so we are very very excited to be here and to engage with them uh, their humble home uh, where they are trying to you know, to, to survive COVID-19 and everything. 